road again. It's that time of year that we are heading out in the fall. Um, last March was kind of our eventful trip. Where we it, had to get a new, we had to get a new tow vehicle in the middle of a trip. Never a fun thing. No, but now that we have a bigger tow vehicle, we have purchased more toys, as you can see right behind me. So we're excited for the additions and just stay tuned. We're going to go over some things that we did to get the camper ready for this trip. We've made some changes and yeah, well, some of it's preventative maintenance. Some of it was just things that I wanted to do anyway. And uh, then, as you said, we got some new toys that we're going to take with us as we go into South Dakota, Wyoming, and Idaho. So come with us. So one really good resource if you are looking at a little guy Max and want to find out more information about them, uh, we follow a Facebook page that's called the Little Guy Max Fans and Owners. Um, it has a lot of really good ideas and then pe people will post on there when they have issues with their Max or if they have modifications that work out really well. So Chris noticed one modification or one maintenance issue that he thought we needed to address. One of the things, and I can't remember if it was on that page or on the Little Guy Max Mods page is another good one, but I know that someone someone had posted that they experienced a, man, what I hope to never experience, and that is they were going down the road and the, the solar panels peeled away, the, they're flexible solar panels, but they peeled away from the roof. And, you know, we've we've had the, we've had our camper, this is, this is our, uh, I guess the end, of, near the end of our third year, right? So we have two solar panels on our uh, little guy Max, and we've never run into any issues um, with them. They've, I mean, they're screwed into the top; they're attached really well. And so, one of the things that that I have seen as a solution or a fix for this solar panel peeling back is that some people have talked about um, sealing using die core to seal the leading edge of that uh, solar panel so that it can't get wind up underneath it and peel it peel it back. So that's one of the things that we um, changed or added um, in preparation for this trip. Another thing as we were preparing for this trip, um, we have the we had the Max Rough Rider with the big knobby tires on it, and the uh, we've been man we put close to thirty thousand miles on the on the trailer whenever we had both the the Volkswagen and now with the Ram, and. Um, the tires, uh, I mean, it, it was it was it was time, right? They weren't they weren't like bare or anything like that, but I could definitely tell they were getting some wear, um, some uneven wear and that kind of thing. And so we wanted to get new tires put on. The size is really difficult to find, and so we ended up going with a Goodyear Endurance. I can't remember the size exactly. We'll post the size. Um, here in the in the links and, and on the screen but we did that in addition to doing that the one thing that I always that I didn't really like about the little guy whenever we got it was it has some it has the wheels are really cool they're aluminum wheels but the spare was just a steel basic black and it and it didn't quite fit the same as the regular wheels that are on it and I wanted to be able to rotate my tires and wheels so that I can get use out of all three of them that was the one other problem with the Rough Rider wheel. I never put the spare on it, and so it was practically brand new, but it was older than all of the others, and so it was going to be more subject to dry rot and that kind of thing, and so I just didn't feel like it was safe or that it would be safe. So we got three new tires, Goodyear Endurance, and uh, put them on. Man, they're smooth. They pull really well. Um, I probably lost a little bit, maybe a half inch or an inch of clearance. Um, you know, the height because this because of the tire size I had to adjust, but overall they've been really smooth and nice. So as you can see behind us, we have a uh, few new toys. We uh, we ordered and, and received about two or three weeks ago. Um, Rad from Rad Power Bikes. We got a couple of Rad Minis. Um, got a step through model for Christy, and then I just got the regular uh, Mini. Uh, they're both they're foldable bikes. Um, they're a little taller. We could have put them in the back of the truck, no problem. But we have a bed cover. We have a rolling bed cover on the on the 
back of the truck and it wouldn't go underneath it. So we had to figure out how to how to carry them because I wanted I like the security of the bed cover in the back, um, and we got a whole lot back there anyway. But uh, so what we ended up we we figured out we got some uh, forty gallon bin storage bin storage tote bins from Home Depot and the folded bikes will fit directly in them. Unfortunately, it was just going to be hard to fit them in the back in the back seat of the truck, even with the seat folded up. So we we decided we were going to take the back seat out, which was really easy to be honest. So we took the back seat completely out, and so now we've got we're able to get the bikes in here. So I feel feel like they're more secure. They're a little taller, as you can see, and uh, keeps the weather though. Keep right, yeah. keeps them out of the weather. Uh, they don't get rained on. I mean, they're electric bikes, right? I don't want to get them. I don't want them to get rained on. Um, a couple of the other things that we did, and I don't know if you can see it or not, we're taking our kayak with us on this trip too. Uh, so we've got a we've got a tandem uh, native brand kayak um, uh, sit on top, and so we have it. We have uh, rails on the bed, so we've got it up above our up above the bed. And uh, the rails that we have still allow the sliding uh, tonneau cover to uh, open and close without any problems. So feel pretty good. We've got a lot of got a lot of plans. We're gonna we're gonna uh, go kayaking and biking and hiking and have a lot of fun on this trip. So looking forward to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we are just getting started, so there's going to be a lot of videos coming at you over the next two weeks. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the road.